breathtaking, isn't it? What a drag. 1,700 miles from Chicago to here, and this is what I get. How long are you going to be here for? About five more minutes. Oh, my goodness. This is the first, this is all you got to see? First time ever, too. No. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've been here like five times. I brought my niece and nephew. We got a quick view yesterday, and it got like this, and then it's been like this. New York Times article somebody sent me said, if you come in the winter, pretty much have the place to yourself and if you get lucky on the south rim with weather it's fantastic but I was sort of well the weather map the Doppler thing last night this looks like a big blob that's going to be hanging over the area for at least another couple of days yeah there's a storm uh, I'm from Colorado but I'm originally from Pennsylvania so my house is a storm coming in the rangers said it's going to clear but they never know anything <laughs> Rangers. That's what I call it. Marketing. That's all it is. Retail Rangers. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, the, work, the drive is worthwhile. I forgot how beautiful New Mexico is. Oh, yeah. Is. If you drive across the country, it's just Colorado. It's just so incredible. So, it gets, you know, it gets out of it. But you don't get to see the big daddy. <laughs> you know what this means. You have to come back. Come back. back. Do the drive again. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that drive is gorgeous. You know, if you go down through the four corners and New Mexico area, Utah, it's all phenomenal. I took for you, that's the way for me. Yeah. It's St. Louis, Oklahoma City, Amarillo, Tucumcari. Oh, Amarillo, awful. Oh, <laughs> boy. That, <laughs> so I was blogging about my dread of that drive the day before I, I know, left. I've been through there many times. I did not like Amarillo. <laughs> wow. Did you just that section, huh? The big A. But I've forgotten how beautiful New Mexico is. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, breathtaking. Mm -hmm. Although, 30 years since I've been through there, they've really kind of goofed up the landscape with a lot of billboards and stuff. Uh, yeah, they always do that. Is it 30 years since you've been through there, huh? Late 70s. Uh, long time. Uh, speaking of which, I have been back to Colorado a bunch of times since then. And that drive up through Leadville. Leadville's awesome. Yeah, but that molybdenum mine that oh, they that, went Oh, that's a huge mine. Oh, yeah. That's, that's been there forever, though. It's horrible. That's been there forever. The first time I came up, it was uh, the right side tunnel of 70. The Eisenhower had just opened. And the, or the, the, they had both just opened. The right side one, the uphill one as you're leaving Denver, um, was two lanes. Well, one lane in each direction, right up until I had just gotten there. A buddy of mine lived in Littleton, and he was explaining to me as we're going up, this Eisenhower tunnel just opened. We used to have to take Loveland Pass. And, Love them passes. This, bad. The Eisenhower Tunnel is pretty spectacular, too. Yeah, it's all nice. Colorado's beautiful. I live on the western slope now, near the desert, near Utah border, Grand Junction. Nice. And so I got the best of both worlds. I got the desert and the mountains near me. Well, this buddy I was telling you about went to a western state. We saw our first port of call after we left Littleton, packed up his car, and drove over to Gunnison and up to Crested Butte. Gunnison's gorgeous, huh? Well, Fantastic. I've been fishing there this, this spring. Man, I caught some big trout, a big daddy. Yeah. It's primo fishing. You know, I'll go fly fishing, I'll do regular fishing. Oh man, I'm just telling you. We hiked down into the gorge about 1,500 feet. And it's about a thousand foot drop and we day hike and we just fish. And nobody day hikes down there and fishes because it's too much work. We had it all to ourselves. Did you ever try the frying pan outside the of frying Glenwood? Frying pan wilderness, yeah. Uh, by Ru I Rudy fish, Dam or whatever there, it is. Though. I've been hiking out there. Apparently they've got some brown trout that will hey, eat you Yeah, some nice fish. And we, Colorado's got it all. That's <laughs> not the granddaddy. What are you doing here? Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, well, you you can, I'll go home and watch a documentary on this because this, yeah. this is exciting. Yeah. 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 Actually, here's my view of the Grand King. I did the cell phone <laughs> and I sent it to him. Hold on. You, you, all right, say hi to everybody. Hey, come here. Hi. 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 Tell him that we're Schmutzy's proof that he actually drove to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, he's proof he actually drove to the Grand Canyon. Thank you. What's your name? Sierra. And you? Rita. Emily. Sierra, Rita, and Emily from Colorado. No, I'm from Texas. They're from Texas. Texas. <laughs> You're from Colorado. I'm from Colorado. Well, thanks for uh, the conversation. Yeah. This is about this is about the extent of my stay at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> well, that rock's nice. It, it looks definitely foreboding. Yeah. So, have a nice, have, have a nice rest of your day. Thanks very much, Rita. Bye. She, say that again. She pronounced it correctly too. Thanks.